is recording. Welcome to my puzzle collection video. Uh, let's start off here. I got a Moyu Tang Po Tuba Tuba, a Rubik's Tuba Tuba. Uh, this vintage 80s. Thanks, Tim. This is a uh, three by three. Sweet, another three by three. Right down there. This is the <laughs> that's Malk. <laughs> this is a crappy two dollar tiny three by three. It's hard to solve. We got it. Uh, let's see a QE four by four. Trying to learn the Yao method. Got a Rubik's brand 5x5. Five five. This thing sucks. It feels like it's gonna explode and pop every turn I make. Yeah, well, there we go. This is a Mofang Jiaoshi MF5 5x5. Five five five. That's okay. That was good. Uh, Yuzhin Red 6x6. Six six. I don't really like it that much. This is a Mofang Jiaoshi 7x7. Seven seven. It's alright. Not bad. This is my favorite 7x7, seven seven, the Yushin. How long can it go? Yeah, I love that puzzle. This is my favorite. Uh, got this for Christmas. Yushin, how long? 10x10. Ten ten. It took me like an hour to solve, you can see. This is a QE Scoob. This is another Scoob. Uh, this is another Scoob. Boy Scoob. This is like a 2x2 two two Siamese. 2x2 two two is like. Attached. It's kind of funny. This is kind of like a cube because it's called the Ivy Cube. Uh, this is a, I don't know if I'm ready for it cube. It's pretty cool. Stony Fisher, I think, did something to do with that. This is a sphere cube. Thanks, Tim. It's from the 80s again. It's an octagonal barrel I got from the Canadian Open. I also have one from Tim. This is a wooden circle. These are some wooden puzzles I got from Jay. Thanks, Jay. This is from Tim again. This is some. Yeah, and this, I don't even want to talk about that one. This is um, a floppy cube, ghost cube, it's pretty cool. This is a ghost 2x2. Two two. Ghost cubes are neat, they kind of shape shift. This is a 3x3 three three mirror block. It's kind of like a ghost cube. No, it's not a ghost cube, I lied. All those were they're mirror blocks. I'm, I, I'm so sorry. This is a Siamese mirror block. Kind of attached. Uh, I haven't tried solving that one. This is a snake. This is a Rubik snake. This is a Nautilus rainbow. It's pretty cool. Mefferts puzzle. I hate this one so much. It's called the Blade Cube, and you can get a corner rotation wrong. I don't know. I go. I have to learn the corner rotation algorithm. This is a Diane Shang Axis Cube. I got two of those. I don't know where the other one is though. It's kind of hard to solve too. This is a land land floppy cube, super floppy cube. It's kind of neat. It's uh yeah. This is a two by two by three. And, uh, just had to learn some different algorithms for these cuboids. This is a two by two by four tower. It kind of shape shifts. This is a two by three by four. That one was hard. I had to learn some new algs for that thing, but yeah. It's kind of cool. Another cuboid. This one doesn't shape shift. 3x3x4 three by three by oh. and uh, we're eating 3x3x5 three by three by yeah Let's got this algorithm to rotate two centers in the top layer right up right up right up two right up two then right up right up prime and right up prime <laughs> this microphone sounds great okay this is a wood eaten 3x3x6. Three by three by it doesn't shape shift. This was a 3x3x7. Three by three by it does shape shift. Just turn it back into a uh, block and then. Yeah. Shoutouts to Shonzo for letting me use his. Uh, that was him lacing a banger. He let me use his GoPro. Check out his Insta. Okay, this is my Mega Minx some efforts. It doesn't turn very well, but. It's still kind of fun. This is a Diang Shang Shield Cube. And this is a Brick Cross. That one sucks to turn. Whatever. It's neat to have though. This is a Master Morphix Triangle thing. And that thing sucks to solve too. And it's hard. And this is an Axis Cube. Another Axis Cube. I can't open this one. That's I think the hard part. 
I got this for, from Alex for Christmas a long time ago. This is what a ghost cube is. I'm, I'm not gonna try to solve it because it's hard. This is a speed fisher cube. Uh, this is a custom Rubik's magic I did. Kinda, it's cool, it kind of just changes the picture. This is a, some kind of ball thing. You stick your fingers in the holes. This is a Pyraminx. It's kind of cool. The ma uh, Professor Pyraminx, it's like the only puzzle I can't solve. I hate that puzzle. Okay, here we go. This is a void cube. It's kind of hard. This is the purple jerk. It's, it's yeah. It sucks. Um, I forgot the algorithm how to fix this one. I haven't even tried this one. This is a new one. I'm gonna do that eventually, but it's kind of hard to to solve. So I'm just gonna put it away. This is a gear cube. The gears kind of move around. It's kind of cool. That one's not hard to solve. This is me walking to the window because I wanted to see what the GoPro looked like when I was look walking around. And this is my kitchen. And here I'm going back to go. Okay, this is a square one. This thing's hard. Like I don't even understand. Like it took me like two weeks to memorize like, the algorithms and stuff. This thing's all intuitive, no no algorithms, Calvin's Octostar, I think that's one of my favorite puzzles, it's crazy, like the little centers can move around and stuff, it's pretty, pretty cool, turns into a 3x3, three three. um, this is a Diang Chang 6 corner only puzzle, uh, and then this is the 4 corner, they pretty much solved like a 3x3 three three or a ghost cube, because the, the center layers, um, these two puzzles, the QG Ultimate Cubes, uh, they're new. I have never tried them yet, so, yeah. Well, these, uh, thank you so much for, uh, watching my puzzle video, that's what I'm saying. But I recorded this audio separately, and all of them took 13.5 hours to solve, and it was crazy, because all the lights, they got dark and whatever. Okay, yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>